Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, we're going to take a look at your current situation or the person most on your mind. Now, if this reading resonates with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. And Aries, you guys can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram for additional content, daily love messages. Um, so I've got those links down below if you want to meet me over there. All right, let's go ahead and see, Aries, what messages come through for you. We've got the Princess of Swords. So somebody here is spying, wanting to communicate. Could be dealing with an air sign. Somebody's gathering information about you, Aries, trying to figure out if you're single, maybe what you're thinking or feeling. The Justice card, it could be a Libra. It could be somebody that you're in separation from. Some of you, you may be on a twin flame or a soulmate journey. Ooh, this person could also be divorced. They're seeing you as the devil in reverse, so that's a good thing. Capricorn energy. They're seeing you as releasing... Some of you guys, my Aries, they're trying to figure out if you have gone through a breakup or separation or if you're married or if you're divorced. They see you as actually somebody they're very passionate about, somebody who would be good for them. That's a good thing. All right, what you don't see coming is the high priestess. Beautiful. So these, this can be secrets. Trust your intuition about this person. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces, Libra as well, Capricorn. Ten of Wands, there's a difficult cycle coming to an end, Aries. There's a beautiful, passionate new beginning. Some of you guys, you could be divorced or separated from this person. You may be on a twin flame journey, but you guys are very telepathically connected. They're keeping an eye on you. They're watching you purge and release karma. So maybe you're getting out of a karmic situation. They're ready for a new beginning. But for others of you, this isn't a reconciliation. They're just watching, waiting, hoping that you're going to free yourself up. So they've got a chance with you. Six of Wands. Yeah, this person's coming in for a victory. They want nothing less than Aries. They want a relationship with you. They want to win you over. They want to win you back. This is beautiful energy here, you guys, because this person, they have got it bad for you. All right, so let's go ahead and dig into this. Ooh, Aries, this person's are gonna give you the attention that you want, that you deserve. Strong connection there with the High Priestess. So let's see, Princess of Swords. They might be feeling a little bit confused right now. Yeah, Three of Swords. So Aries, like I, like I said before, it could be that you guys are in separation because of some sort of third party interference. It doesn't have to be a romantic rival, but for some of you, it will be. For others, they're watching you. They, they, they've fallen madly in love with you, Aries, and they're, they're either hoping that your relationship is over. <laughs> you know, it's like they're hoping that you've gotten a divorce. Maybe they heard something, you know, through the grapevine here. There is some sort of heartbreak, Queen of Wands. Wow. For some of you guys, Aries, they've gone through a difficult divorce or separation. You might be looking at that. You might see this person as heartbroken, but they see you as, as a healthy choice for them. Not just healthy, somebody that they're very attracted to. It's like they've got it bad for you, Aries, this Queen of Wands energy. You could be dealing with a businessman or businesswoman, or maybe you are. Yeah, your person, they've taken a little bit of a pause. This Knight of Pentacles is sitting down. He's looking at all the details. This person is trying to figure out if you're single, what you're thinking or feeling, if you're seeing anybody else, what's going on with you. This is slow and steady energy. And we get the Knight of Cups. They're coming in with a love offer. They're coming in with a love offer. Could be a Libra. Could really be anybody. But this person, they're going to ask you out on a date. They're going to ask you, you know, I feel like they're going to be very romantic. Okay, this is going to be some sort of proposal. They're really thinking long and hard. Like, what is going to make you the happiest? What's going to turn you on the most? What's going to make you make you fall in love with them? Okay, because it's really powerful energy. So they're seeing that you've made a difficult decision. So maybe they're seeing that you've decided to end a current relationship. And so that I feel like this person's watching and waiting for the right time. Like they don't want to rush it. They might know that you're heartbroken. And so they don't want to sort of just be like a rebound here. Some of my Aries, you're not taking action towards them. Some of you, you may be focusing on healing. You might be really focused on work or your physical, your physique. So you might be working out a lot. You might be healing from an illness or, you know, maybe you guys were 
uh, like doing something that wasn't so healthy. You're, they see you definitely cleaning up your act though, but that's why you're not really taking action towards them. They might also think you're a little bit out of their league, but man, they've got it bad for you, Aries. I'm just seeing that Knight of Cups and that Knight of Pentacles. They either want to reunite with you or they want to ask you out on a date. The High Priestess, yeah. So you guys have been, in, you guys are very intuitively linked here. And with the Four of Swords in reverse, this person wants to come in and either heal things with you. I just also feel they're waiting. They're watching and they're waiting for you to heal from whatever you've been through. This is somebody that doesn't, even though they do want to rush towards you, they don't want to do things the wrong way. They want to do things in the right way. They want to give you security and safety. And they don't want to be a rebound. Okay? So yeah, we see the Eight of Pentacles. Sorry, the Seven of Pentacles. I'm going blind. This is the Seven of Pentacles. I can't see what that is. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> I'm counting the Pentacles. There are eight because there's one on the ground. Four, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Sorry, blind tarot reader here. Okay, um, so the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who's going to put in the work. This is somebody who who's going to, they want to offer you stability, Aries. They want a connection that's going to go the distance. I feel with this Ten of Wands, they're waiting for you to end something or they're waiting for you to heal from something. Um, I feel like you've, been, you've had a tough time in love here, Aries. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you are hesitant emotionally because you've had a tough time in love. You might not wear your heart on your sleeve. Some of you guys, they see you as very like fun and excited, happy, but they also, they're very intuitively connected to you and they know that you're healing from something that, you know, that looks can be deceiving. This person, they, I know it sounds kind of creepy, but it doesn't feel that way. This is somebody who's just really linked to you energetically and they see right through you and they see that you know, that you're, that you're emotionally guarded because of what you've been through. Yeah, King of Swords. This is somebody who's going to be loyal. This is somebody who's going to be, um, you know, they're going to, they're going to be transparent. This is somebody who's very logical. They're waiting for the right time. They're strategizing. Um, this person is not going to stop at anything less than a victory. So they're also going to have everything really planned out. And so if this person's not making any moves, and for some of you, you might not even know who this is or it's somebody you're not talking to. Um, some of you, you're, you might have a choice between a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I also feel they know, they might know your ex or they know about what's go on, gone on in your romantic history, either because they're part of your community, friends group, or they're just doing their research. Yeah. Cause that's what I get here with that page of swords energy. The Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny, Aries. This is a very important connection. And if you guys have been experiencing difficulties, I see all of that coming to an end. All right. Beautiful. Sagittarius energy. All right. Capricorn, Libra. Okay. Let's see what else comes through. There's going to be a huge victory in love for you guys. Yep. They're manifesting you. You might also be manifesting them without quite realizing new beginnings. You're manifesting this new beginning. They want a new beginning with you. Nature. This person could really enjoy the outdoors or maybe you do. Um, 74 breaks down to an 11. So some of you guys might be seeing specifically 111 or 101 or 110, you know, 1101, like that sort of number sequence is going to be important for you guys. And 78 spiritual career. So for some of you guys, this person is a psychic or intuitive or a tarot reader, or maybe some of you guys are. Follow your dreams. Yes, absolutely. So don't put your life on hold for anybody, Aries. You following your dreams and being in alignment here, this is what's calling this person in. Because for some of you guys, you don't know this person's watching you or they're in your energy, but you don't know who they are. Okay? This is destiny with that wheel of fortune. Follow your dreams. Milk, you know, be in that energy of happiness and joy. Do what makes you feel good. A lot of you guys, you're recovering from a divorce or separation or a disappointment in love. Just, just keep that happiness frequency. Stay in that frequency of happiness and joy that things are going to unfold for you very unexpectedly, but also in just such a beautiful, positive way. You're calling in abundance. You're also manifesting 
people and situations for your highest and greatest good Aries by following your dreams. I see also if you guys are starting like a spiritual career, healers, acupuncturists, readers, anything online, you're going to be meeting the right people at the right time. You're going to be very, very successful and in the spotlight. I also feel that you might have friends trying to set you up with this person or this person's checking, like checking out, asking their friends or your friends how to get close to you, how to, you know, what things that you like. So we get reconsider. Some of you, it could be a reconciliation and take action. So uh, yeah, this person, I think they also go back and forth with that justice energy. Like they kind of wait, like, should I do it now? Should I not? But like I said, they're going to take their time. They're going to do everything right. All right. And we get a big no here. All right. Interesting. So some of my Aries, you may actually turn this person down if you don't feel like they're just right. Maybe some of you guys turn them down to follow your dreams doesn't matter they're coming back in but ultimately Aries the choice is going to be yours okay so just remember that okay let's see what else comes through I really like this follow your dreams energy in this reading a lot of you guys whatever you're deciding to do for work or money you might be changing jobs or you're starting a business or whatever you're choosing to study your angels and your guides have absolutely got your back it's like even like ancestors and passed on loved ones here they're really you're going to be successful when it comes to money so everything will unfold in divine timing i also feel your person is being very patient they're very passionate about you, but I also think this is your energy. Like some of my Aries, you might even be putting love a little bit on the back burner because you're really focused on building whatever this is or going to school or whatever your work is. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So yeah, you guys might be really working really hard, but Spirit is saying, you know, to follow your dreams, but make sure you have that work-life balance. And integrity, does the situation align with your values and your morals? So at what I'm getting here, yeah, there's possibility there's some sort of third party interference or, you know, somebody may be in a connection or was in a connection. It's going to be important, but I also feel that a lot of my Aries, you, you're you working really hard towards school or building a business or your career, and you might not have a lot of space for love right now. This is the type of person that is going to understand and they're not going to give up. So just keep that in mind. But you may be very clear with them and say, hey, I'm, I'm actually busy. Like I've got so much stuff to do. I can't really focus on love and relationships right now. Like I said, this person, they're going to understand and they're not going to give up. Six of Wands. All right. Some of you, you're dealing with a twin flame um, or just a very strong soulmate uh, connection. I like that. All right, let's see what else comes through. What other messages do we have for Aries? You know, there's nothing more attractive, Aries, than, you know, somebody who's got their SHIT together. I yearn for you deeply. So this person, they could be they could be somebody you work with or you did work with. They could be somebody who watches you online in your friend group. If you know them, even if you don't, they're not going to be really upfront right away. They're going to do their research on you. I'm lonely and I'm ready for love. So that could be your energy or their energy. And again, for some of you, it may be a past person. All right. So I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.